Kitty Cat Toy Cat Toy. Welcome back to Info Jam for 2023. Choo -choo. I'm Liz. And I'm Liam. And this is where we stop and update you on news and info from the past week. Let's go. Kicking it off. Leading news this week. New Zealand is declared to be in a state of emergency because of Cyclone Gabrielle. Northland experienced winds up to 130 kilometers an hour. That's so fast. Yes, it is quite fast. Speaking of fast, check out this next place. I don't even know how to say it. Hauraki Golf? Hauraki. Hauraki Golf. That's the one. 135 kilometers an hour, and the maximum what? wind speeds at the Harbour Bridge were 110 kilometers an hour. But hold up, Western Coromandel Peninsula was buffeted by winds up to 160 kilometers nice. an hour. That's insanely fast. Whoa. I don't know how to say this next word. Whangarei and Kai Kohi? Yeah, it's the one. Yeah, received 70 millimeters of rain over 12 hours with no significant rainfall in Auckland. Man, that's so devastating, eh? All I gotta say is I hope you guys are staying safe over this time. Absolutely. And we're thinking of you. Our hearts go out to all of you guys who've been affected. And from the Odster file, a world record dunk has been captured on a camera phone using AI. No way. Yes way. A guy That's named insane. Piotr Grabograpsi, who was a professional dunker from Poland, has set the record for the highest between the legs slam dunk. That's now, so cool. How it works is AI technology was used on the brand new Magic 5 Pro device from Techna company Honor to automatically capture the incredible record with the 50 megapixel camera phone. That's really cool and insane. Now, wait till you hear this. Okay, Grabo, who is six foot tall, had the hoop raised five inches higher than the height of a regulation NBA hoop. Hold up, regular NBA regulation yeah. hoops you know are 10 foot. 10 foot, so five inches higher than 10 foot, which is like... That's insane, he must have had a huge jump. I know. The camera though caught it, that's insane. The question I want to know is, can Honor's AI replace professional sports photographers in determining like, the perfect shot during a game? You know, personally, I love talking to photographers. They just have a great view on things. Like, yeah. So I don't want to see them go. I don't want to see them in place. Yeah. So I'm rooting for humanity in this one. Absolutely. Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking of humanity, world news, Disney has confirmed that Frozen 3 and Toy Story 5 will be released. This is so exciting! I know, I'm so excited. Disney has announced the two new sequels from two of its most famous and popular films, and they haven't revealed much about casts, plots, Ooh. or release dates. Mysterious. But I've seen Frozen 2, and I've seen Toy Story 4, and it's left me with so many different ways that they can do the film that it's so exciting. I can't wait to see what they do. That's so exciting because I personally wasn't really vibing with Frozen 2, so yeah. Frozen 3 could be like redemption for me. Come on, let's go, let's go Disney. Exciting. You know what else is exciting? Sport. Woo! And what's in sport this week? The Kansas City Chiefs have beaten Philadelphia Eagles 38-35 to win so their close. third Super Bowl championship in franchise history. That's insane. Now the Eagles got off to a flying start and went into halftime with a 24 to 14 lead. But uh, there's always, always a but, right? Always a but. But after the break, Patrick Mahomes produced a heroic effort playing with an injured ankle. What a legend. And he injured Ned a final drive to set up Harrison Butker's 27-yard game-winning field goal with eight seconds left to play. Now that's exactly what I like to see. The adrenaline, humility. Adrenaline. Now Mahomes was also named MVP of the Super Bowl. Come Amazing. On. And Let's we can't go. forget the halftime show which was put on by Rihanna. Rihanna. Now those platforms Ooh. they were dancing on, high. They were very high. I mean, surely they had to wear like harnesses or something, right? Yeah, I mean, I could have been a professional dancer, but you know, the height <laughs> thing just kind of just put me off. Me and heights. <laughs> Don't fair call, well fair call. At all. Hey, our pop culture topic for this week is all about Astro Boy. Astro Boy. The fashion world is not a stranger to the world of anime, and Mischief introduced some fresh new cartoon kicks. Check out that screen. You know, Astro Boy shoes. How cool. In real life. In real life, and they look cartoon. It's really insane. It would be great for like things like Armageddon, but guess how much these things cost? Okay, like, I don't know. You tell me. 350 USD. That's like 680 New Zealand dollars. That's a lot of money. So that's a lot of saving, guys. Most of the pieces and collectives are sold out in the minutes. So if you want to wow. get in on this, you just have to get in really, really fast. Really quickly. Really quickly. See, I don't know if I could spend that much money on a pair of like boots that kind of look like gumboots. Yeah, especially when we've got gumboots in New Zealand. Eh? I know. I mean, gumboots are where it's at, I believe. Exactly. I exactly. Hey, finally, guys, the value of the week this week is friendship. 
Now, friendship is being able to be comfortable being you around someone else. Cool. Maybe you've been in a situation where you were hanging out with friends and they started treating you badly. Maybe they made you feel bad about the clothes you were wearing or they were talking about you in a mean way and that made you feel really stink. Well, in these times, it's helpful to remember that true friends let you be you. A true friend encourages us to be ourselves. Yeah. So if you are not sure who your friends are, or if you don't feel like you have any friends, here are three questions that you can ask yourself. Number one, who do I feel comfortable to be myself around? Good question. Number two, who encourages me? And number three, who do I enjoy hanging out with? Now, if the same name or names come up for each of those questions, I would say that you could call those people friends. Yeah, yeah, and that's why I'll call you a friend. Let's go. Let's go. And a huge shout out to Our Park, Park School. in Pakaranga, Auckland. You know what's cool about your school? Fun fact. There you are, right up there in New Zealand, up there. Fun fact, I learned to swim at Lloyd Ousmore. Where's that? Which is, if you look, Right oh, up there, right up there. The Your school's right over up there. The right at the top, I learned to swim at Lloyd Ousmore. I came from Auckland. So yeah, shout out to you guys at Elm School in Pakaranga. And hey guys, if you want a shout out, you can jump on to kiwikidsnews.co.nz and just chuck in a comment. Perfect. Hey guys, well that wraps us up for this week's Info Jam. If you want to know more about these stories and others like them, make sure you check out kiwikidsnews.co.nz and remember to tune in next week for our next Info Jam. Woo! See you guys next time. Woo!